all our third year discounts. So, may I know who is the coordinator? Guys, uh, shall we start or should I be waiting for any of your coordinator to begin? Sir, wait, sir. Some of them are in the middle, sir. Okay. Thank you.
Guys, good morning. Guys, we were given just one hour to press on this webinar. We have already lost 15 minutes. Should we be waiting or can we start? Yes, so I am. So, who is the coordinator? Akash, are you the coordinator for this webinar? Sir, I don't. Seriously, don't. They just gave us the webinar link. Oh, okay. So then I will start myself. Right. Uh, I will start with a thanks note to uh, uh, GRD College of Arts and Science and uh, uh, the Department of Visual Communication for supporting us to organize this webinar. Uh, today's webinar is on the topic of introduction to urban cinematics. So, uh, being visual communication students, I hope you will very much relate to this uh, webinar and we will be able to understand the topics that we will be talking for the next one hour. I will quickly present my uh, screen, just uh, acknowledge if you are able to see it. Are you able to see a welcome screen? Yes sir. Alright, thank you. So as I said, today's webinar will be on an introduction to advanced cinematics. 
So, uh, to introduce myself, my name is Stalin. Uh, I am a creator and educator in this field of animation and VFX for past 12 years. So, I've been into both the uh, uh, production and uh, education sector. Uh, I'm also the head of uh, Mac Kilometer Center, which is situated inside uh, Hindustan College of Arts and Science. So that's about me. And coming to today's webinar, uh, the agenda of today's webinar is to introduce you uh, to some exciting industries, okay? the most promising industry of this decade, uh, like animation and visual effects industry, and also the uh, upcoming uh, latest technology like uh, augmented reality and virtual reality and also we will be looking into uh, the evolution of this uh, animation and VFX industry, the mediums, different mediums that is used to uh, do storytelling, the pipeline of uh, the animation and VFX uh, you know, filmmaking and uh, why should we, you be a part of this VFX industry, okay, and what are the uh, uh, you know, the forecast or the growth and projection of this animation and VFX industry. And finally, let me introduce you to MAC and the contribution of MAC to this industry and what MAC can offer you and help you in finding uh, a promising and uh, better job in this industry. So that's the you know, bullet points that we'll be discussing for the next uh, 45 minutes. So uh, saying that, I'd like to start with uh, video. So I hope uh, you must have come across these uh, uh, terminologies. Design is where science and art break even. So there is no, no uh, design without science. There is no art without science. So if you are an artist or if you are an art student, you might have come across uh, mathematical terms like Fibonacci series, the golden ratio and all. Okay. So that's where science helps the art and design to no, evolve. And art challenges technology and technology inspires the art. Okay, so always uh, art helps the you know artist or anyone to open their mind, think about, you know, think out of the box. And technology always inspires the artist to bring out those creativity in different forms. Okay. So I usually show this video to most of my students. Uh, you know. It's an uh, inspirational video or motivational video. It just taps your memories. Uh, just to you know, remind who we were once and what we have become today. And I hope you will like this video. Start uh, with a positive note. Are you able to hear the audio? No, sir. No. Uh, Should we, anyways, let's not waste time.
Hope you like the video. A childhood has always been very optimistic. Okay. I think some of you should mute your audio. Thank you. Okay, so we haven't uh, you know hesitated to take brave decisions in our childhood days, but as we grew, we grew up. You know, developing a lot of fear in us, started uh, you know comparing ourselves with others, what others would think when we think differently. So, as the video suggested at the end, creativity always starts with a belief. So you have to believe that you have creativity in you, no matter which industry you are in. It's not only related to design industry. So whatever industry you are in, you have to believe that you are a creative person. You have to, you know, take a new leap, take a new step forward, and think differently. Okay, so uh, that's a positive note that we can start with. Okay, so our industry. So welcome to the world of animation and visual effects. Uh, I have, uh, you know, gathered some of the images which had a lot of uh, VFX shots, and 3D animation shots uh, in the recent times. I hope most of you would have watched uh, these films and series. So why I'm starting with this image is to show that. Nowadays, any movie, any uh, commercial or any uh, VFX or anything that related to media and entertainment industry has a lot of animation and VFX content in it, which means it needs a lot of animation and uh, VFX artists to create such, you know, uh, so amazing effects. So these are the four exciting industries that we will be talking. Uh, the animation industry, the VFX industry, the gaming industry, the graphic and web based. So being uh, uh, Viscom students, you might be a little uh, exposed to these industries and what we do uh, here. And uh, you might, uh, being third year, you might have uh, also learned some software. Uh, you would have done some short films, uh, done some you know, effects and all. So if you have any queries, you can start asking me rather than you know just me presenting the videos. So this is going to be presentation model. So I have included a lot of you know images and videos into it. So make it visually uh, you know understanding. So I'll self explain it. So any queries we can make it a little interactive if you would like. Okay, you can stop me anywhere and ask. So the animation industry, the effects industry, we'll be seeing what we do here, what is the pipeline of uh, the filmmaking and uh, its forecast on. So the projections, so we'll start with the projections of this media and entertainment sector. So from 2014 to 2025, so this is the projection, you can see how the graph has grown up. You can see the colors representing 3D modeling, motion graphics, 3D rendering and visual effects departments which has seen a huge growth. 
from 2014. And it is expected to grow much higher by 2025. And if you see the other segments, so like television, print, film entertainment, digital media, animation, VFX, live events, online gaming, out of home, which is called over edge media, radio, and music, it has seen a very huge growth in recent times. And from financial year 2014 to 2021, it has grown from 15.7 to 32.6 US million dollars. Okay, so that's the growth of this industry. The animation, VFX, and post production industry. The industry has shown decent growth on the back of VFX post production. Okay, in recent times, a lot of VFX uh, shots and movies have been done in India. Uh, outsourcing for uh, the Hollywood and other uh, you know foreign uh, projects. So increased consumption of VFX and digital post production in film and TV. If you, I think uh, most of us have started using a lot of uh, uh, over the top uh, platforms like uh, Hotstar, uh, Amazon Prime, Netflix, uh, Z, uh, uh, Boot, and all. So if you see, there's a lot of series and. Uh, Commercials coming out with a lot of VFX shots. In it. Okay. Earlier, you know, few uh, months back, this uh, projection shows that there was a lack of original IP creation is a major reason of the stagnation of the animation industry. So, original IP creation means we are just outsourcing uh, things. You know, we do not projects to the foreign countries, but we are not creating anything. So, that is one area where we stagnate in animation industry. Okay, but the recent survey has shown a different angle. Okay, the, another trend has been growing, increase in demand for uh, domestic IP versus services for international projects. So nowadays, Indian animation and VFX studios not only support CG content creation for international movies and TV series for worldwide broadcast market, but also work on domestic projects which increasingly employ the use of CG. Best example is Bahubali. The animation industry has seen steady growth in the past years, but IP growth has been growing faster by 18.4% from 2018 to 2019 versus 8.9% for services according to KPMG report. So which means we have started to develop our own content rather than doing just outsourcing projects for you know big blockbuster movies uh, for Hollywood. So that is a very you know positive sign for uh, our industry. So on the right hand side, you can see the projections again. These are the different uh, you know, areas, digital, TV, print, films, gaming, animation and VFX, OOH, radio and music. You can see the numbers from 2019 to 2024. The expected growth is going to be 29.1% higher in the digital content. You can see for different areas, animation VFX has grown from 88 to 121 by 2021. So it is expected to grow more by 16%. Okay, that's again a positive sign for Indian animators and artists. Okay, so those are little projections. Uh, again, to give you a confidence or hope that uh, this is the industry that we want to be in. Okay? Because we've already chosen to be in the media and entertainment sector. We've already uh, been there for three years, learning the basics. But do we really process the skill that the industry needs? That is one big question. Does uh, uh, we get those skills from uh, our, you know, uh, the degree that we are studying? So that is where the map comes in, bridging the gap between the demand and supply uh, for the industry. Now let's come into some basics of animation. Okay, let me introduce you to the terms and technologies and then again we'll come back to the projections and what uh, about Mac. So everyone knows what animation is. So we don't want to waste my time asking questions, so straight away I'll run these slides. So animation can be defined as the manipulation of static images to give an illusion of So most of you are aware of this. Most of you would have you know, done animations, uh, at least uh, animation clips. For people who do not know or are not aware of this, I think this presentation would somewhere help you a little bit. Okay, to gain a little knowledge. And so this happens when a sequence of images are run through the projector or any medium at a rapid speed of 24 times a second. 
So that is called animation. So animation is all about creating an illusion of movement. Where everything is static images, when we collect all those static images and when they run it in a sequence, in a particular speed, we get an illusion of movement. Okay? Which is not happening, but we get an illusion that it is happening. You can see the different uh, you know, drawings here. And when these drawings are run at particular speed, you will get a movement, illusion of movement. So one example. So all are single drawings. And when it is run quickly, we get this illusion of movement. So this is animation. These are the inspiration of animation. So according to me or maybe some of you, so these are the inspiration where we started to get the idea of animation. Because before that, we were just drawing on uh, you know, walls and uh, rocks and you know, sculpting on uh, rocks just to you know, preserve uh, the information or the history. So this might be the inspiration for uh, the animators to start animation. So you can see two, two people fighting. So each every frame. So there was no projector at uh, those days. So uh, when you run these images in a particular speed, you can find an illusion of movement, which is called animation. You can see these cave drawings. So the, the, the animal is running, which shows the animal is in locomotion. It's, it's moving, the man running. So this could be an idea or a spark to uh, bring animation into existence. Then came the thaumatrope. So thaumatrope is a toy that was popular in the 19th century. But this with the uh, picture on each side is attached to two pieces of string. When strings are twirled quickly between the fingers, the two pictures appear to blend into one due to the persistence of vision. Okay. It is like a coin which has two drawings on both sides, tied with a uh, you know, uh, uh, string on both sides. So when you twirl this string, you happen to see the two images as one image. So this is an example. So you can see a bird on one side and a cage on the other side. When you twirl it, you can feel that the bird is inside the cage. Okay, so that is the illusion. We are creating some Purmaya Yerpurta. So that is animation. Then the next evolution was Zeotrope. So Zeotrope is one of the several pre-film animation devices that produce the illusion of motion by displaying a sequence of drawings. The zeotrope consists of a cylinder with slits cut vertically in the, in the sides. On the inner surface of the cylinder is a band with images from a set of sequence pictures. As the cylinder spins, the user looks through the slits at the pictures across and get the illusion of motion. So, I think I did have to read the entire paragraph because visuals always tell more things, right? So, you can see these images stuck inside the cylinder and there are slits outside. So when the cylinders spin around, you can feel the illusion of motion. Okay, so that was zero. Next, as time went on and paper was more available, people wanted to make their own animation toys. So this introduced the flipbook animation. Flipbooks are made by layering sheets of paper with slightly altered images in a sequential order. As the viewer quickly flips through the book, they see a quick animation. I, I think I'm sure most of you would have tried in your art classes. And so you draw each and every frame on each uh, you know page, and when you flip, you get an illusion of motion. And again, it depends on what speed you run. Okay, so FPS stands for frames per second. So when you use 30 frames or 24 frames, the human eye can perceive a normal speed. So when it is so when it is more FPS, you can feel it is very slow.
Okay, so that's your book animation. So this is how the animation evolved from you know drawing on paper, and then later on the digital uh, era started, and now we start directly on the computer screens. So that's the evolution. This is how it evolved. From 1906, starting from humorous phases of funny phases. was the first shot to have audio. This was the first full-length animation feature film. So that was the stop motion. That's a very lengthy video. So they started the three. 
this was the first uh, yeah, full length 3D animation film to be made in 1995. So there, there's more to come. So let me quickly skip and let's get into the process of the film making. Uh, I'm sure everyone is aware of these three major processes pre production, production, and post production. Pre production is the process of preparing all the elements involved in a film, play, or other performances. So all of you would have uh, uh, done a screenplay, storyboarding, story developing, you know, previous and all. Just an example, you would have all seen probably how, how it was made, how the pre-production uh, was uh, you know, extensively used for the making of the movie. So the art, the sculptures, the miniatures, everything were made pre-produced before getting into the production. Pre-production is the most important stage in filmmaking. So when it comes to high budget movies like Mahabali and all, without pre-production, we cannot get on set. Production uh, process refers to the stages required to complete a media product from the idea to the final master copy. This is where the actual shooting or recording is done. So this is where uh, we're going to choose the medium. Okay, after pre-production, we're going to choose the medium, which medium we are going to use to do the film or bring out the final product. So there are different uh, mediums that we can use like uh, traditional animation or cell animation, 2D animation, 3D animation, stop motion and motion graphics. The traditional animation is also called as classical animation or cell animation or hand-drawn animation. It's an animation technique where each frame is drawn by hand. 2D digital animation uses bitmap and vector graphics to create and edit animated images. So the difference is, here we draw it on paper and run sequentially, here we draw it directly on computer software. Okay, so you must be exposed to uh, software like Flash. So that's the best example for 2D digital animation and uh, traditional animation, Disney kind of animation, that's the best example for traditional. So I could run this video fully, it's very informative, but it will take a long time. So this is how Disney movies were made in early days. So each frame is drawn on paper. So an animator is, should always be a good actor to animate his characters. So 
everything is photographed. So then it has run in a projector in a particular speed to get that illusion of motion. So next, all the pencil drawings are given to the inking department. Okay. There they do the outlines. Okay, so after inking is done, that goes to the coloring department. Okay, so on parallelly, the artist, uh, you know, create the backgrounds. Finally, again they are photographed with the background and the characters. The sound effects are recorded. background music is done and finally the movie is released. So that, that's how you know, uh, Disney movies were made in early days. Digital animation is quite easier because we directly draw it on a computer using bitmaps and uh, you know vectors. The computer will do the interpolation animation for us. Which, uh, through which we can create much smoother animation. So this is an example of 2D digital animation. The next medium is 3D animation. So where, where it involves a 3D software where we can see uh, the objects created in three dimensions. Okay, so this is the process used for generating animated images using computer graphics. In general, we call it as CGI computer generated images. So this is an example of 3D animation film. So this is the pre-production stage where the character is designed and made a rough animation called as animatics, which we do it in the pre-production stage. Then a pre-visualization is done using 3D software, very basic animation to understand the cameras. Then the characters are created in 3D software, it's rigged to make it, uh, you know, animatable. So that's an example for 3D animation. And again, 3D animation has a lot of modules containing in it, so like modeling, texturing, lighting, making animation, dynamics, and rendering stages. Another medium where films were made and still being made is called stop motion animation. And stop motion is a form of animation that relies on photographs of still objects to create movement. So objects are manipulated and photographed sequentially when photographs move together in a quick sequence, it creates illusion of movement. Okay, so this is similar to the way a flip book works. So what other things can be used in stop motion? You can use a clay, you can use a paper, you can use a cloth, or you can use any object, or even you can use a human being. 
to create a, a stop motion. The thing is, you have to photograph each and every frame and run it in a particular speed. Okay, so like this. So every photographs are made as miniatures, and then each and every you know movement is being photographed. Each drawing has been printed out. That's from 2D pre production to the stop motion. So this is another medium. So you can find this online from YouTube. I have taken um, most of uh, the videos from YouTube. Thanks to the creators. You can also go watch this, the bear and the hat. That's a uh, short film. Uh, you know, um, came in the year 2013. You can find the making also online. Then the exciting 3D industries where 3D is being used extensively. It's been used in picture films, short films, advertisements. Architectural visualizations, e learning, gaming, medical animation, and broadcasting. Okay. One example mm -hmm. Autodesk is one of the uh, you know, advanced software that we use in industry. Code is being used in games. We're running out of time, so I'm quickly skipping the video. Then the last uh, process is called the post production. This is the third and the final major phase of the production process. So there are many things which can happen in post production, like video editing, editing the soundtrack, adding sound effects, music, adding titles and graphics, color correction, exposure correction, adding special effects, color grading. You know, all these stuff happens in the post production process. And it can be used in motion graphics, title animation, compositing, tracking, editing, color grading. So these might be some technical terms. Some of you might not be aware of. So this is where uh, post-production is used to remove the green screens, make it uh, transparent and bring a 3D created object behind it, compose it, make it look realistic. Okay, a live action and CGI combined together. So why animation and music? Again, coming back to the uh, you know, projections. The Indian media and entertainment industry is expected to grow at the CAGR of 13.5 percent during the financial year 2019-2014-24 to reach a size of 3,070 billion. Okay, by financial year 24. So that's in Indian rupees. But advertising revenues expected to grow at 14.5 percent to reach 1,367 billion by 
So the digital segment is projected to become the second largest segment by the total revenues and the largest segment by advertising revenues in the media and entertainment industry. The animation and VFX industry is expected to grow of 16% from 2019 to 24 on back of steady growth in international demand and growing share of special effects in domestic production with increasing investments into IP projects being the key lever for Indian animation companies. So the earlier slides we saw how the IP is growing much in India, which is also sharing its uh, you know major share in this growth. So the development of India's digital infrastructure has given a boost to gaming as a segment, which witnessed significant growth in 2018. So uh, uh, there are major you know studios, uh, gaming studios in India, recruiting so many artists. Uh, as per today, I think I can share one information. Rockstar Games from Bangalore, that's an international studio. They are hiring uh, uh, animation, visual development artists, and prop character artists, you know, for all these uh, uh, areas. They need 50 animation artists, who knows Maya and Max. Uh, they need 15, you know, visual development artists or texturing artists. They need 20 prop character artists. Okay, so this is all happening here in Bangalore. So there's a huge demand for uh, um, you know, 3D artists. So around 2,000 multiplaces are in India, more than 500 TV channels are in India. India produces highest number of movies in the world and already has discussed demand for local content is growing. The film industry in India is expected to grow at 7.3% from 2019 to 24, driven primarily by theatrical revenue from India and overseas and growing share of digital rights. In the absence of any significant growth in screen count, more consistent performance across digital markets and deeper penetration into overseas markets is expected to primarily, primarily drive theatrical revenues. Okay, so why? Because the OTT platforms okay, like uh, Hotstar and uh, Amazon Prime have uh, seen a very major subscriptions happening in the past one year. So, which has given a lot of boost to the film industry. So as digital behavior becomes more prevalent and ingrained, the gaming sector in India is expected to benefit tremendously from this and is likely to display a strong growth of 32%. Okay, so like uh, cities type 2, 3 cities also hold significant powers are likely to contribute to the growth of the segments in the years to come. Cities like Coimbatore, okay, I mentioned that. So Coimbatore is becoming a hub. There are so many, you know, uh, wedding studios doing a lot of uh, gaming projects. Television continues to be a critical mass entertainment medium and is expected to grow 11.2%. Okay, the advertisement revenues are likely to be driven by recovering the economy and upcoming events. So television plays a major role in boosting this industry. Okay, so television, series, uh, advertisement, it all contributes to the growth of uh, this animation and VFX industry. So demand of digital content is growing in all media, right from graphic, web, films, uh, medical animation, uh, and uh, architecture, uh, motion graphics. So digital content is growing in all media. So talent pool growing fast enough because people are getting into this industry, learning the software quickly because hardware and software costs are going down, which makes them possible to learn. Softwares like uh, Maya, Max, Blender, New becoming more powerful and it has become very handyful uh, because uh, institutes like Mac uh, provides all these major you know, advanced softwares with industry standards to the students. So all major companies are outsourcing to India. All major brands are expanding in India like uh, Technicolor. Uh, earlier we had Rhythm and Hughes based in India. Uh, so we have VFX Wala, we have Red Chili's, so many you know production houses. So Indian animators are getting recognition in Hollywood as well. So this is how the digital content has been ruling. So the, uh, the key factors influencing the growth of digital consumption. One, this is the second highest per capita consumption of online media in the world. India consumes the the largest online video. The growth in smartphone users in India to 340 million in 2018. 11% growth in uh, feature phones shipments higher than smartphones uh, growth in 2018. So in recent years, people have started using smartphones through which 
we have started using the digital compass, the cheapest mobile data in the world, okay, which makes people to access internet, access, you know, digital content, access OTT platforms, various other things. So growth in average data usage per uh, subscriber, growth in online video content to meet the demands, growth in average mobile data download speed, okay, and the download speed is also higher, so you can, you know, people start watching, you know, the digital content is very frequently. The big market of 3D content creation for AR VR. So this is the next upcoming technology on this augmented reality and virtual reality. The mobile AR and VR games to boost Indian gaming industry. The earlier AR VR was used in gaming alone, but now it's being vastly used in other areas like education, like defense, uh, marketing, uh, commercial uh, things also. The growing demand has improved the quality of visual effects. Okay. So, as I said, the Indian animators and VFX artists have been recognized uh, worldwide for creating high quality visual effects. Amazon Prime Video has 13 million active users. Hotstar has 300 million monthly active users. Netflix boasts of, boasts of having 3,700 movies and 1,800 shows. So, if you see, there's a lot of digital contents. There are a lot, a lot of people consuming the digital content. And to create that much of digital content, we need more people. Okay, like people like you. Probably out of 300 crore budget, 85 crore was spent only on visual effects. So Bahubali 2 used 33 animation studios for VFX production alone. Okay, for working for more than 15 months. So you can see the uh, the need for animation VFX artists and its production studios. So this is augmented reality and virtual reality. So what is augmented reality? So I think if you are not able to hear the audio, I can just run the video and show you the major portion alone. Okay, so virtual reality is where we getting into the virtual world. Okay, so the, the digital artists create the virtual world and the uh, consumer will be given a glass like this, Oculus glass or anything, a virtual set. And through that, we'll be able to get into the virtual world. Okay, just like this. So there will be two glasses, left and right eye. So now this is being vastly used in architecture walkthroughs, the shopping experiences. Pilot simulations, driving simulations. So actually VR replaces the real world. It replicates the environment, simulates physical presence. So allows us to interact with the digital world. So you can see here. So when it is being used, it's being used in places, spaces, being used in military, driving, other simulations. It's been used in storytelling, it's been used in gaming, medical animation, like therapy, and marketing for selling products. On the other hand, augmented reality, this is where the digital content is brought into the real world. Okay? It blends the digital with the physical world. This has been used in education and training, real estate, architecture, media and entertainment, defense, automotive, medicine, engineering, and retail. This is how AR-VR has been used in defense.
Okay, Ford is being used in automobile. Okay, what's being used in education, engineering education? used in medicine. So if you want to experience such things, you can very well walk into our institute to experience this augmented reality and virtual reality. Being used in education. Where 3D content creation comes in, where a lot of 3D artists are required. And Mac also, you know, takes pride in uh, telling that we give uh, augmented reality books to our students, digital to our students, so they can experience such kind of learning here. learns through this augmented reality, he can understand how a giraffe looks, how it moves, what it eats, you know, its habitats and all. Rather than just seeing the image, they can get the feel, the real feel of the animal. Okay, so this is the ARVR market forecast. The global immersive market was estimated at 18.4 billion US dollars in 2018 and it is projected to grow at 76 percentage to reach 179 US billion dollars in 2022. The augmented reality is estimated to grow 5.9 billion US dollars and real estate, media and entertainment, automotive and retail are expected to be the verticals with maximum adoption of immersive media. They have, these industries have already started using this augmented reality virtual reality because customers, you know, when they get in uh, to purchase a real estate uh, or a house, they can walk through them using virtual reality technology. They can see it from their house itself, how, uh, uh, you know, the interiors are uh, made, how the uh, furnitures have been placed. If they want to change the color of the furniture, they can uh, change the color, they just play the possibility of that uh, AR VR technology. Indian AR VR supply landscape comprises of the significant large and small players in the areas of tech and platform development, app development, and system integration. So we not only do designing part, the Indian AR VR market okay, has a significant you know players in tech and platform development and app development also. So if you are interested in programming, if you are a good programmer, you can become an app development developer. 
So the more career opportunities. So where all can you find you know best jobs in this industry? Film, advertisement, gaming, medical and surgery, architecture, e-learning, interior designs, maps and tourism, training institutes, content development, character designing, VFX, and many more. So you can become a VFX artist, you can become a 2D artist, 3D artist, 3D modeler, 3D game artist, modeling artist, texturing artist, yeah, to name a few. So if you can read it. And there are many other you know, areas also. Then what we contribute, DJ education and training, it's located in Coimbatore. We are tuition with division to upscale the skilling experience with job oriented programs. And we are the authorized partner of Maya Academy of Advanced Cinematics. Most of you would have heard the name. Maya Academy of Advanced Cinematics is the media and entertainment education brand of Aptech Limited, a global learning solution provider that commenced its education and training business in 1986 and operates throughout a network of centers nationwide. So, Matt has more than 100 centers throughout India. It operates through a network of centers worldwide and has prepared lakhs of students for jobs in the media and entertainment industry. The academy provides quality education in animation, visual effects, gaming, filmmaking, multimedia, web design, graphic design, and many other job-oriented courses, including augmented reality and virtual reality. So our courses are thoughtfully designed by experienced faculty and the industry experts, industry designers and artists to provide students through insight about the dynamics of multimedia and animation industry. So we just don't teach theory, we teach them practical, you know, we teach them the software and make them industry ready. The students at Mac get the opportunity to work in a studio-like environment, practice on industry-specific software, attend course-specific workshops and participate in studio research. So, Okay, so our students, we take them to studio visits on a regular basis. Uh, we give them the latest uh, softwares to practice on. Uh, they, they get, uh, you, know, uh, you know, regular workshops on latest topics. We, uh, you know, bring in uh, uh, people to give them workshops, industry, you know, veterans to bring the, uh, give them better workshops. So what we do here, we just help the students to, you know, we stimulate their creativity. So, as I said earlier, in childhood, we all were very creative, but as we grew up, we forgot what creativity is. But we still have that, we, uh, you know, that creativity in ourselves. We at MAC, we just help you to stimulate the creativity and bring your creativity out and help you find a better job. Some of the industry events that MAC, you know, presents, industry in Interface events like Sweden National Students Meet and industry seminars increase the awareness amongst MAC students. So we, uh, you know, uh, uh, conduct Sweden, which is an event for students. National Students Meet, which happens every year in any one of the location in India, and industry seminars uh, increases the awareness among these students. So again, we bring uh, industry veterans from all over the world. Okay, not only from India, we bring international uh, guests also uh, to the industry seminars through which the students will get the awareness of uh, this industry. In the specialist, our uh, preferred as generalist, Max students get an opportunity to undergo the specialist specialization curriculum, which has been designed keeping in mind the current industry scenario and requirement. Which means, after finishing a course, we help the student to specialize in one particular area. For example, if he finishes 3D, we help him to specialize in either animation or modeling or texturing and help them give an industry ready show reels. Okay, your show reel or demo reel is the you know, gateway uh, path for this industry. 24 FPS and MMS gives an opportunity to match students undergo an in depth training through the complete cycle of animation production. So, this is a competition where 24 MPS is an international film competition conducted by MAC where students will participate and uh, they will be making a short film on 3D and VFX and many other categories through which the student will get an idea of the you know, complete animation production pipeline. So he learn how to work with team, he learn how to meet the deadlines, uh, he learn the complete pipeline of animation, where to begin and where to end, 
the pre-production, production, and post-production stages are you know uh, will be exposed, and also they will get in-depth training, you know, guidance from the industry uh, people uh, throughout the process of filmmaking. So you can find more about Mac from MacIndia.com. So this is the event that I was talking about, 24 FPS. So Mac takes pride that uh, we uh, host this event, 24 FPS, every year. So our students will participate in this uh, competition. We take our students to the event wherever it is held. So it is like a film fair for our, our animation industry. So there we get entries from uh, you know, throughout the world. The Mac students also submit their works. We compete with international projects as well. So the 24 FPL International Animation Awards 2019 creates history internationally yet another time. So 1,300 plus submissions, more than 75 countries have participated in this event. 8,000 minutes of content have been you know, produced. So awards are being presented not only for Mac students, but for artists throughout the world, or film actors, you know, uh, Successful people from different other industries also. So it's a big opportunity for Mac students to participate in this event. And being a Mac student, they get, as I said, very focused uh, guidance from industry people who have worked for international projects. So, Mac offers animation programs, visual effects programs, multimedia and design, gaming, broadcast plus and skill enhancement courses, and augment reality and virtual reality. So we also provide a 90-day job-ready courses for people who really wanted to you know, quickly get into a job. Students could get job-ready in three to four months. They benefit from 100% job placement assistance. Mac has a holistic training pedagogy with the most experienced trainers on board, learn from the best. So get a chance to be placed at the top-notch companies in the media and entertainment industry. So if you want to you know, join this industry or get into a job in less than four months, so we have job ready courses for you. But if you want to make a career in this industry, you know, for a long time, if you want to sustain in this industry, you want to learn everything from pre-production to post-production, then we have career courses also. So the courses proposed to you are designed to enhance the skills leading to a holistic and robust curriculum. The respective courses would spread across, you know, uh, you, you can learn, you know, do your graduation at the same time, you can do this courses part-time. Okay, some of our job ready courses are like digital filmmaking, design, visual, visualization pro for architectures, we have compositing plus for people who want to do only post-production, we have cinema coding for people who want to do, get into broadcasting industry, we have certificate in graphic and print design, graphic design pro, web pro for who wants to get into web design, compositing pro, who is already in the industry but want to you know uh, update the latest software? We have three D walkthrough pro for uh, civil people. We have motion graphics pro for you know broadcasting sector 
and editing pro who are interested in film editing, we have courses to teach only the editing. So, uh, which is three months. Okay. So broadly, it's print design, web design, 2D, 3D, and effects. So there's a huge demand in these areas. So after finishing the course, media and entertainment sector, feature films, television, advertisement, gaming, AR, VR, music videos, and broadcast. Then comes e-learning for creating you know digital contents for education platform, digital media, and game. So these are the studios that have hired the students. Okay. This many studios, I may not be able to read out everything. So this is our infrastructure inside uh, Hindustan College of Arts and Science, now India. So we have a very good infrastructure with latest software installed and uh, compatible machines. So you can do the courses part time or full time. We have career programs, short term programs and certificate courses in all these areas. And all the courses comes with 100% job assistance, placement assistance. Okay, so that's uh, uh, the address. And uh, I'd also like to share one uh, data from April to September 2020. This is the placement data where our students of throughout India uh, where have they been placed, the company name, their designation and uh, the salary. Imran has been placed in Luminous Power Technologies as a motion graphic designer with a minimum salary of 50,000. Okay, uh, Navneet Singh has been placed in Amazon as a ju uh, junior QA artist for 28,000. So you can see the designations here, 3D artists, animators, graphic designers, modeling artists, uh, digital graphic designer, 28,000, compositor, compositor at NPC, Moving Pixel Corporation, which is a Hollywood studio in Bangalore. Uh, starting salary is 26,000. Technical, again, a Hollywood studio, animator, 26,000. So this is the range. So there are numerous jobs available. Numerous jobs available. So all we need is a good artist with a decent, you know, industry standard show to get into the industry. And we at MAC help you to hone your skills to stimulate your creativity and help you get a industry standard show so that you can also find the best job in this industry. So finally, I would like everyone to give us a feedback. And I'd like to share it on the word file. Chat. Yes. So please take some time to clean up this uh, a feedback form. So some people have already left. That's okay. I'm happy that uh, there are 41 people still sticking. So I would like at least all these 41 people who attended the webinar in the end uh, to fill up this form. Yeah, it would be really grateful. So we spent almost one and a half hour during this webinar. So I hope you people will you know, acknowledge that by uh, you know, filling up this form. Any questions? Any questions? You can type.
Oi? Que moto? No questions? Shall we end this session? Yes, no, anyone? Yes, from Sharan. Thank you, Sharan. Thank you all. Thank you all for sitting so patiently. Thank you for attending today's webinar. All the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you. Good. No.